Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at the American Society for Horticultural Science, and they have designed a biofeedback system, if you will, to measure how well plants are absorbing light in an indoor growing environment. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, indoor growing under electric lights, that's not efficient, that's not sustainable. Well, what if you had LED lights that use very little electricity, and what if that electricity came from solar panels or wind turbines. That way you could have a sustainable source of electricity growing food indoors. It's very helpful if you're in a very, very hot and arid climate and you need to maybe go underground to cool it down or maybe you're in a winter environment and you just need to have some light. Well, heck, this is a great system. I hope they develop it more. Basically, what it does is just takes an image of the leaf through fluorescence technology, special imaging sensors, not just any camera, and it can tell if there's heat damage or if it's absorbing the light and converting it into sugars efficiently. You know, it's a great system. I hope it, they've done it across sweet potatoes, lettuce, other all sorts of crops. Well, just a, I think three or four but across different families of crops. So it looks like it could be adapted. And if we could get that on our cell phones now, oof, wouldn't that be something? Well, anyway, that's it for this story. You can read more about it in the link in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.